What is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Heck, I gotta say I do like filming with this camera a lot more. I feel like you guys can see more and I'm not straining my arm too much. It's, it's got a lot wider view. Anyways, you can probably tell by today's title of the video that we're looking at buying a new vehicle. Like I mentioned in the last video, if you guys catched that one, is I'm looking for a vehicle that we can get. We can have fun with the mods and keep it a budget build at the moment. It's kind of what my goal is. I think it's more fun. It's more fun for me too. At the same time, uh, we can find parts a little bit cheaper. We can do a little bit more since the budget is there. I did mention some other stuff too about uh, we're probably going to be um, getting into the Patreon stuff and and you know talking to that, talking about that stuff with you guys here shortly. But for now, I found a project truck. You guys probably seen it if you uh, follow me on Instagram or even on Facebook. You saw that I found a project truck. I'm working out the details on it, but I do want to share with you guys what it is. We'll get your feedback. So at any point in this video, if I've said something, um, definitely leave a comment in the comments below. We'll see if we can get cracking on this project and uh, it's pretty cool. So let's get into the details of what the truck is. So it is a truck that we'll start off and it is Mopar for those of the Mopar fans that are on this channel. Um, it is a 1999 Dakota RT single cab. I found it, it's got a bit of a story to it, it's a bit of a mystery, but nothing we can't handle. I mean, this thing had more than enough story and um, we ended up making it into something cool. So it's kind of what I want to do with this thing. The cheaper I can get the truck, the better. It'll save more money for the mods. But if it's got a bit of a story, it doesn't matter. We can always make it into something greater and better. So that's going to be the plan. Anyways, it I think it has, it has over 100,000 miles on it. I want to say around 120 or so, don't quote me, but it's not going to matter because what I'm going to tell you in a second. So it has around there, um, not low mileage, not super high mileage. It is a salvage title, so it's got that going against it. Um, but it's a cool color. I actually did have one of these trucks back in my teens. I had a 2000 Dakota V6, so didn't have any guts really, but it was a V6. It was the metallic blue color, but it was an extended cap. So. I really enjoyed that truck actually as, as a teenager and it was a fun truck to own, but this one should be a lot better. So it's gonna have the 5.9 liter Magnum engine in it, which really doesn't make a whole lot of power. It's it's pretty pathetic, honestly, for almost a six liter engine. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 240, 250 horsepower, like really low and maybe 400 foot pounds of torque. Don't quote me on those numbers exactly, but it's, I, I looked at them and I just glanced at them and I wasn't really interested in them because the numbers sucked. So. Um, that's the story on the truck. It looks like it, it does have the RT wheels on it, but they look like it's got some big tires on it. So what we would do with the truck, we would get it, we would make it look good at first, get all that stuff. Um, you guys know how, how we would do it and you guys know the deal. Get the lighting upgraded, get it looking good, get some LEDs, get it all looking well, and then go on the hunt for more power. So this build would probably be, since this is gonna be a smaller truck and a lightweight truck, we could probably send this thing pretty quick. And there's some options. We could either take the 5.9 liter engine, uh, procharge it or supercharge it and see how long it lasts before it pops. Or we could just cut to the chase and maybe see if we can stuff like a Hemi in there or something like that. I know I've seen Dakotas with Hellcat swaps. It's doable, but again, you guys gotta remember where we are. Being in California, the mission's gonna be a nightmare if we're gonna keep this as a street truck. If we turn it into a pure race truck, then I almost have to get another truck to tow the truck to the track and it just becomes this whole ordeal. So um, at least with the Pro Charger kit, we could still um, keep the original motor in there. So it could still be you know somewhat compliant and stuff like that, but that's a whole other story. Let me show you guys the truck. So you guys probably saw a picture of it above and I'll put it again here. That's kind of what it looks like, but I'll show you the pictures that I was sent. and. Again, nothing's finalized yet. I haven't gone to see it. Um, I do want to go see it hopefully the next few days. If I can work at a deal, get it for a good price, we'll try to make it happen. So I got my trusty phone here and that's the front of the truck. There's the side of it. So it's, it looks like it's got spray bombed wheels or something of that nature. So it's kind of strange that way. I don't know, it's super dirty. I don't know what that black stuff is. It's kind of a little bit weird, but it is an RT. The RT badge is in a weird spot, but it is in fact the truck. And as I scroll through the pictures, there's the back. It's got a roll pan on it. I don't know how I feel about it. It looks kind of like a crappy one. Probably either put the rear bumper back on or get a better roll pan, because that one looks kind of cheesy. 
and this is the other side of it so like i was saying it looks like some oversized tires on there like you guys know these trucks or you've probably seen them the tires are usually a lot more lower profile than that these ones are almost barely fitting the wheel wells one thing i do like the fact that it has that uh the archway or the the flares on it the factory ones i do like that i think it's a nice touch and you guys will laugh at one of these pictures here it does actually have carbon fiber vinyl roof on it so somebody already wrapped the roof in carbon fiber what condition it's in who knows it's got a plastic bed liner in it that you can barely see it's very poor pictures but this is what i got to work with i haven't gotten to see it like i said and that's another side profile looks like it's got some tint on it like i said rt badge is in the wrong spot the gas flap looks like it's painted black or wrapped black something like that and yeah it's in shambles here's under the hood so it's got a K&N intake on it and other than that it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot done apparently it has an exhaust on it not headers because I confirmed that but it has some sort of muffler or something on it there's the inside it definitely needs a cleaning if we get this thing but yeah pretty simple pretty basic I mean there's not really much to it it's just a an older Dakota so um yeah that's kind of the truck like I said it's a it would be a fun project it would be a lot of work but uh i think it would be a cool truck again let me know what you guys think in the comments below something you'd want to see should we skip it uh I, see, here's the thing so i could technically try to get my hands on a hemi engine there's some different stuff and i've already kind of talked to jay green about it if you were to you know take a hemi engine and put them in different years we were actually talking about putting uh, a fourth gen Hemi 5.7 into like a third gen truck. So like a an 09 to 12 motor into maybe like an 05 since they make more power and there's some differences there. Or even like a 2013 to 18 or 19 motor into like an 09 to 12. But there's actually some differences, I guess, with the reluctor wheel or something like that where you would have to do some different things and it might be a nightmare. So it would be cool. I have found a, I think it's like a, 20, 2011 or 2012 uh, Hemi engine that I could pick up fairly cheap, but I still have to do my research and due diligence to see if I could stuff that into that um, that chassis without too much wiring or too much issue. Also not sure if the transmission would made up or if we'd have to get a completely different transmission. These are questions I would have to answer on my own and do more research on, but for now I was thinking just get the truck we can mess around with it, do some light mods with the 5.9, see where we get with that, get bored, see what we can find outside of that. Going back to like the Hellcat swap stuff, think about it this way. If we got the truck for a few grand uh, and then decided to go absolutely crazy, I think I've seen Hellcat swaps for like 12 grand or so. So we could be all into this truck for like, I don't know, I wanna say like maybe 15 grand or so. I think that would be insane. Like. I don't know if we could somehow like i said if we get this patreon thing going and you guys are cool with it if we got this thing cranked up and we had this truck with a hellcat swap in it and you guys know i'll take it to the drag strip i did with the last truck i've taken these cars to the to the drag not well i have taken actually the viper to the drag strip but i've taken them to the racetrack and, and whatnot so you guys know i'll send it but if we can make that happen find like a hellcat swap jam it in there turn it into a full race truck i don't know i mean the possibilities are endless but at least let me know if you guys want to see that truck on the channel and us mess with it. I think it would be a cool project. I just took a glance on eBay. There's all sorts of like cool like headlight upgrades. There's cheesy ones, of course, but there's also some tasteful ones. So we get some newer headlights in there, probably some newer, nicer taillights, all that good stuff. Try to bring that 99 Dakota up to like a 2018, 2019 standards with some LED stuff. Try to freshen it up the body on those trucks is kind of timeless honestly it looks pretty good like the body lines on them i think we could make it look pretty good and then you guys know we'll probably put some sick wheels on it, all that good stuff so definitely lower it as well i think i mentioned that but again let me know what you guys think it's like i said i want to make this channel interactive with you guys you guys can have a say in which direction we go if everybody in the comments just blows it up and says no scrap that idea then we'll move on but um it's something i was considering i think some, i saw somebody say something about getting like a five point uh like a five liter mustang and doing that i've considered that also but i wasn't sure which generation to go with all sorts of deals on the table i don't know let me know what you guys think let me know and also if you guys find like a listing uh, a craigslist or a classified listing that you guys think is cool or cheap 
drop it in below. We'll see what it is and we'll go from there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.